I really hope you can't hear the music downstairs. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another favourites video. It is now July, I can't believe we're already in July. And this is my June favourites video. I've got lots of lovely goodies to show you. And just like the past few months, I'm also going to do a little shout out for some small businesses who I'm really excited about. Let's dive in to some small businesses first, and then we'll dive into my favorites for the month. Who should we do first? Ah, yeah. So the first business I wanna do a little shout out to is Amy Mack Illustration. And I basically discovered her, I think, someone shared her on a Facebook group? I'm not entirely sure. But basically I have been looking for lots of lovely artwork and prints for this little area of my room. And her prints are absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love them. She also had the cutest greetings cards. And actually I've got myself a greetings card to go up there rather than a print because I really like this greetings card and it would just fit perfectly up there too because it's quite small and I'm just really excited. I haven't got it yet, but I'll leave a little picture here for you guys so you can see which one I ordered. But she has so many lovely, beautiful prints in her shop. I really love her style. I love the kind of flat color with the really lovely illustration she does. It is just so pretty. So yeah, big shout out to Amy Mack. I, like I said, I just got recommended her in a Facebook group, stumbled across her and fell in love with her style. So yeah, massive shout out to her. And when I get my little card, I'm going to add it there. So I think I'm gonna do a craft room tour soon. So when I do a craft room tour, you'll be able to see it then. But I'm super excited to get that. Ooh, <clears throat> my voice. I'm super excited to get that little card. It's so nice being in like small business community Facebook groups because you can discover so many wonderful talented people there. So I highly recommend going to check her out and just joining some other Facebook groups like there's one that's called Shop Indie Roller. So I'm part of something called Indie Rollers, which is a group of small businesses all working together in a lovely community. And Shop Indie Roller is a place where you guys can go on and be like, hey, I really need a nice necklace for my mum for her birthday. Show me what you got. It's just a really great way to shop lots of small businesses and amazing talent. And I think I either saw Amy Mack in that Facebook group or it was part of the Indie Roller group in general. So yeah, just a really lovely community. The next small business I wanna share with you guys is Under the Rowan Trees. And this is really exciting because I'm actually collaborating with Danielle from Under the Rowan Trees. So she had a launch party on the 1st of July to celebrate the relaunch of her subscription box. And she's also bringing out a brush lettering box, which I have created the worksheets for, which, oh, tickly. I am so excited by. I will be doing an unboxing video of this lettering box at some point in the near future. So keep an eye out for that on this channel. But yeah, the lovely Danielle just contacted me and asked if she wanted to collaborate. And I absolutely love her shop. She's got so many lovely pens and stationery. So if you're a stationery addict, then head over there and check her out. And it's just incredible that she's basically running this whole shop by herself because she has so many products and she's doing incredibly well. And also she's bringing lots of other creatives and stationery addicts together. So it's really lovely to be part of that little community of people as well. So yeah, massive shout out to Danielle. So next on my small business list is actually a really good friend of mine. She's been a very good friend of mine for like, how many years? I think like 15 years now, which makes me feel old. So my friend Lou has set up a scrunchie business, which is called Not Another Scrunchie. She loves a pun. So not is spelt with a K, so K-N-O-T. So yeah, she's a pun gal and I'm obsessed. I blimmin love all of her scrunchies. I've got one in right now, which is this really cute. It's a nice little paisley pattern. And then I've got some more here. So this is a really soft tiger print one and I love it. Oh, just a caveat. She gifted me this one, which is the leaf one, which I really love. And she also gifted this one to me up here very kindly she just sent them to me because I've been giving her a little bit of 
business advice, so it was a nice thank you present. Uh, but I did buy this one because, I mean, I couldn't resist. It's tiger and it's soft and fluffy. What I love about these is that I can have my hair in a ponytail like this all day, and then it doesn't leave a kink when I take it out, which is amazing. They're just really good quality. I really love the feel of them. And what's really cool is that she's doing it like limited runs. So each fabric design is gonna be like a limited edition. So if there's one that you really like in her shop, then get your hands on it straight away because it might not be available ever again. Oh, I'll leave everyone's links in the description below, by the way, if you wanted to check any of these small businesses out and give them some support too. So my last small business, which kind of goes into one of my favorites for the month as well, in terms of a product, is a business called Soul and Fire, which is run by the lovely Alice Thorpe. I watch her over on YouTube, which is how I first discovered her, and then I discovered her shop, which is amazing. And her shop's called Soul and Fire, and she recently bought out these planners. So there's a weekly one saying, getting my shit together. And there's a daily one, which says, get shit done. They're just tear off planners, but I've just found them so helpful for like getting all of my thoughts down for the day. I work full time and I run my business on the side. So my head is constantly going with lots of thoughts. So it's really nice to have these two just on the side and I can quickly jot stuff down. And it's nice to kind of compartmentalize into the week and the day. So I tend to write my whole to-do list on the week and then I can refer to that and be like, okay, what am I doing today? So yeah, these have been really helpful just recently getting my whole brain in order. I also bought a print from her as well, which is, it says, you do you, and the quality is really good. What's really great about Soul and Fire is it's all about eco products and uh, recyclable products as well, which I think is so good. It's nice to see a company really thinking about how they're infecting the environment and making sure that they're doing their bit. So yeah, that's one of my favorites for the month as well as it also being a little small business shout out. So yeah, go and check out Alice's YouTube channel and also her Soul and Fire shop because she's got some really cool stuff in there. Okay, let's get on to my favorites for this month. Uh, I'm gonna start with this pot of pens. So these are the Casa liquid chalk markers. So they basically do what they say on the tin and that is they are chalk markers. But I have absolutely been loving this pink one, especially. I have been using the others here and there, but this pink one, I absolutely love. And it, I mean, my hair's faded a little bit at the moment, but it has been matching my hair. And I just love how bright it is. It's like a neon chalk pen, which is just so pretty. I really, really like it. I was gifted these pens, by the way. I was gifted them a little while ago. I think maybe even last year now. Uh, Casa got in contact with me and they asked if I wanted to try them out. And I did, and I really like them. So if you're looking for a good chalk pen, then I can really recommend them. And what's great is you can actually pull the tip out and it can be a chisel tip on the other side. I'm not gonna do it now because I'll get ink all over my hands. Next on my list is this, which probably doesn't really look like much to you guys. Uh, so this is a Crafters Companion Top Score multi board, And basically you can just score paper on it, which probably sounds really boring now I've put it in this video, but I have just been loving this because recently I've been selling quite a lot of cards in my Etsy shop and how I print my cards is I print them A5 and then they fold down to A6 and to fold them I actually score them on this board first and then I fold and I use this tool to score and then to fold and Basically, it just makes my life so much easier when it comes to folding because it, I can work out exactly where the middle is without having to faff around too much. And it prevents the paper from creasing as well. So that is super helpful. And it's just been a really handy thing. I've had this for like years now, but I just wanted to give a little shout out to it because it's been helping me along the way for the past month or so. Uh, I think it's quite cheap as well. I'll leave a link for it in the description below if you want to get your hands on this, but there's lots of different marks on it to say if you want to fold A5 and a half or A4 and a half or do a gate fold on A5. So yeah, it's a super handy little tool and there's some more scores on the other side if you just want to do some other random scores. Uh, I got an itchy nose. Uh, next up is this, which is the Dr. P.H. Martin bleed proof white 
and now I'm holding this up in this video, I'm wondering if I've actually put this into a favourites video before, but I mean, if I have, then that just shows how good it is. I've been using this for adding some details. I've been using it for a couple of client projects as well. It's so good, it's so opaque. That's what's amazing about it. It is super thick, so you need to mix it with a bit of water just to thin it out a bit, but you can use this with a paintbrush and you can use it with a dip pen. I really like using it with a really thin paintbrush. I just, yeah, I just like how opaque it is. It's just a really handy white to have just to hand so if you are looking for a super opaque white paint or ink then I recommend this. I think I got this yeah I got mine in Japan so it's got yen on it so it was 900 yen uh, but I'll leave a link in the description below so you can get your hands on it too. And then finally I have simple pens. So these are the Pigma Micron pens and I have been using Pigma Micron pens for years and years. There's somebody at the door, isn't there? We will just wait for them to stop talking. Why are they taking so long? So these were kind of gifted to me from Sakura, which was really lovely of them. And these are a little bit different. I've basically been using the Pigma Micron pens for years and years, and I've got the ones where they're black and they're all different sizes whereas these are the colored ones so there are there's the black in there and then there's one two three four five six seven eight so there's eight colors in total plus the black i mean i probably could have realized that because it says nine fine liners on the front didn't need to count so you've got an orange a brown red pink purple green blue black and sepia and i have mainly been using these to write on my planners I just really like writing with these pens. They're just so smooth and easy to write with. And it's really nice having the different colors because then I can kind of color coordinate and make it look nice and pretty. So yeah, thank you to Sakura to, for sending these to me. I really like them. If you're looking for a fine liner that has a bit of color so you don't want to just use black, then I really recommend these. These are some good pens. And that's everything. That's all my favorites for June. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you wanted to check out any of those small businesses I will leave links in the description below so please do go check them out and do support small business especially at this moment in time people could really do with that support. I'll also leave links in the description for all the products I've mentioned as well so if you want to get your hand on any of them you can do. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more from me then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you have a brilliant day and I will see you guys soon. Bye!